we won the game and I came back to the dressing room to see Sehwag in one corner fuming. So quietly went and went next to him and said, it, it happens, uh, don't worry, you're a terrific talent, you're a good player. He said, no, I'm going back home. And I asked him that, is something wrong? Is everybody fine at home? Is your mom well? He said, no, John Wright has caught hold of my collar and he's pushed me to the freezer and said, next time if you hit that shot again, you'll be on the flight back home. As a captain, I used to have a, a mad coach, John Wright. And uh, he was a fantastic human being, but he was mad. And every time, every time Virendra Sehwag would uh, hit a ball on the air, his eyes would shut down. So you can imagine that uh, that would have happened a lot more and he might have missed a session not watching a game. Because all what Virendra Sehwag did was a ball on the air. And uh, I remember one incident at the Oval in 2002, the famous Napoles Trophy which we won. Uh, we were playing a game against Sri Lanka and, and Seva, and we were cruising. We were, uh, Sri Lanka had 170 odd, we were 132. I was batting with him and he smashed a length delivery straight at mid off. Trying to hit it in the air and trying to finish the game early, which he still does. <laughs> in spite of John Wright being after his life for such a long period. And, 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 and we won the game and I came back to the dressing room to see Sehwag in one corner fuming. So I said, yeah, this is good news. And that he's hit the ball in the air, he's caught out at mid-off and it was not required and he's upset with himself. Hopefully next match he wouldn't do that. So I quietly went and went next to him and said, it, it happens, uh, don't worry, you're a terrific talent, you're a good player. He said, no, I'm going back home. <laughs> so I said, what happened? Why are you going back home? We just at the beginning of a tour, you've come to England. And I think it was his first trip to England. And I asked him that, is something wrong? Is everybody fine at home? Is your mom well? Because he's very close to his mom. Every time Seva got a hundred, his mom was on TV giving an interview. So, uh, he was, he was very close to his mom. And I said, is everything fine? Why do you want to go home? It's just the beginning of the tour. We've got four test matches. Uh, we want to do well and we're playing well as a team. We just, we just beat the West Indies in West Indies. Uh, what's your problem? He said, no, John Wright has caught hold of my collar and he's pushed me to the freezer and said, next time if you hit that shot again, you'll be on the flight back home. <laughs> I said, thank God I was in the middle, batting. Uh, so I didn't know what to say. Uh, because I didn't, didn't realize that this had happened all this while we were in India, were requiring 25 runs to win in, in probably 20 overs. So I realized that there's some problem with the coach that uh, that he's pushing one of his main players into the freezer and asking him not to play that shot again. Uh, so, uh, so I I didn't I didn't say anything about it and we got on the board or we got on the bus we were at the Oval and we were driving through the lovely streets of London, you know, past the Westminster Bridge, uh, past the Queen's Palace, and we were getting back to the hotel. And everybody was enjoying India. One, there were like as I entered the hall, there were people whistling at the back because cricketers do a lot especially those who come from the northern part of India. <laughs> and, uh, they were whistling at the back and, and then I quietly went to John, who was on his guitar. He used to have a massive guitar and he used to play that in the evening every time after the game. Uh, never had the notes right, but still played it. <laughs> and, uh, and so I asked him, uh, what's happening coach? He said, uh, no, I've done something wrong. I said, thank God. He realizes he's done something wrong, so it's easily solvable for me. Uh, so I asked him, what did you do? He said, no, I was upset with Sevak. I was taking my bottle of water from the freezer. I said, that's fine, because I've seen him do that every time. He's a bit nervous, he would walk up. He would use a fantastic word, which we all use when we're under pressure. And go to the freezer, take a bottle of water, drink it half. Sometimes not even drink it and put it back in the freezer. So I said, yeah, I've seen you go into the freezer many a number of times, but what did you do? He said, no, I pushed Sevak in the freezer and said, next time you hit that shot, uh, I'm going to send you back home. I said, what happens if he does it in the next game? Because I know invariably he'll do it in the next game. <laughs> but he was in a happy mood and the conversation didn't, didn't, didn't go on further. And I said, let's make it up and let's not take this further. And over the years, the players realized that this is a captain who's half the time not practicing in the nets, trying to pacify and put cold water with fights among coach and players. Somebody's pushed uh, somebody in the freezer, somebody's taken somebody's cricket bat away. 
and abused his entire family for not helping him in the middle. Rahul Dravid is upset because he was run out twice in a test match, although he has the most number of run outs in, in the history of uh, <laughs> Test match. Half the time, half the time I was trying to pacify all these people and when I had spare time I was still batting for India.